Hello everyone. Today I am going to share with all of you the video on how to use smart vision glasses. So these are the glasses which are useful for a low vision as well as the person who is a totally blind. As also we can advise these glasses to a one who is having a partial sight, or we can see the reduced field of vision. So let me show you first. So this is the smart vision glass in which it is it comes with a frame. The frame has the plano glasses, and there is a sensor attached on the left side of the temple. It is connected with the USB cable, which you can connect this to the Android phone or any smartphone. And uh, along with this, there is a headphone which is available, which is again a Bluetooth headphone. The charger to charge the headphone, and uh, Type C to Type B. cable which is also available along with this kit now how to use this uh, smart vision glass so to work this smart vision glasses in your phone so first you need to download the app which is known as smart vision glasses app from the play store so once you have downloaded the app from the play store then you have to connect the usb cable to your smartphone and then you have to wait for 30 seconds once uh, it will get connected it the registration page will open on your phone and it will ask you to register by your name it will ask for your contact details like your contact number as well as email address it will also ask for emergency contact number and contact name that's it once you have done with the registration part then you you are ready with the use of the smart vision glasses uh, one more thing that i just want to add is about you need to do a setting in your smartphone that you have to increase the screen timing of your phone by 2 minutes so let me show you what are the things or what are the functions available with the smart vision glasses so as you can see over here on this left hand side there is a sensor and the camera is present in the front of we can see left hand side or the left side temple so it is mentioned in the braille there are five knobs or uh, five functions you can see over here the one which is uh, in the front or the first one you can see this is there is a braille in a braille it is mentioned as p p is nothing but so once you will tap this button it will ask or it will show you the things around you the one uh, in the next two things around you is about the r it is mentioned r in braille so r is nothing but uh, reading reading application if you double tap this knob it will again show you the currency it will identify the currency okay the third one is about the w which is mentioned in the braille and this will help you in walking assistance so whenever like the blind person is started walking so it will tell you about the how long or at what distance there is an obstacle uh, which is present the fourth one is your f that is for the storing face so um, like the blind person he can store almost 30 faces of the known people uh, who is around the person or who is around that particular patient or a candidate the last one is nothing but s which is mentioned in the braille s stands for standby mode so to change any of these functions you have to click on this sensor which is your standby mode so let me show you the demo so now this uh, smart vision glass is already connected to the smartphone so if you click on this so it is already on standby mode so if i click on the first button which is things around you around you a person's arm with a key on it stand by mode so once you press the first button that is about the things around you so whatever the things around uh, that sensor it will explain like even if it is indoor or outdoor whatever the things are there in front of that person on uh, the this camera that senses and it will tell you about things around you even if you double tap on this uh, things around you knob 
it will tell you about how many faces have been stored till now the second one uh, let me tell you about the uh, second one it is a reading app so let's do that reading now move backwards move left and upwards scanning the android phone to usa cable and do not open the apg wait for 30 seconds edge here the log the appears pain So in this way, whatever the things, whatever the documents, if the blind person want to read, so you need to place that paper in front of the sensor, which is on little on left hand side. So it will guide, it it will read out the document and it will guide the blind person to identify or to know what is that, what is that particular document. Even if you double tap on it, it will, and if you show the currency note, so it will. Uh, Uh, find out it will identify the currency and it will guide the blind person the next is about the w if i tap on this walking assistant human face four steps away person four steps away person three steps away swimming few meters away go straight stand by mode so as you can see uh, it will guide about uh, like at what distance there is an obstacle like a wall like a door or but along with this a person or a candidate must use a cane stick so that he will not get bump into the other uh, things like if there is any anything which is kept on the floor or like a chair or like uh, any other things or if there is any stair uh, so he will get bump into that so it will be better it uh, like the person should use a cane stick along with this guide or this walking assistance the next one is about the storing face so for the storing face what you need to do is you have to click on this button and uh, you need to capture the person's face uh, like you can you can ask the person to uh, be in front of this camera and then you can uh, press this uh, the camera will capture the person's face and it will ask you to uh, name after the beep and then you have to uh, recall the name of that person and you have to tap again on this button so that uh, the name of the person along with the picture it will be saved so uh, next time when that same person will come in front of the scanner and if you uh, press on things around you so it will tell you about or it will identify the person and uh, this device will recall the name of that person the last one is again let me tell you is about the standby mode so uh, to change any of these function you need to click on the standby mode one more thing i just want to add is about like if you double tap on this button or uh, this uh, storing face uh, storing face one so in this case it will uh, again guide you like whatever the things i have explained about how to use what are the steps so these are required actually so and again if it is required you can even call to the customer care by double tapping on this knob so continuously while using this smart uh, smart vision glasses the internet uh, is required and uh, you can continue use this so that's it so this is actually uh, I, have, i have given the trial of uh, these smart vision glasses to almost 10 blind patient and almost two uh, partially sighted patient and they are using it they are very happy with this device so i want everyone should know about this device uh, to get let's join hand together so that all the blind person can get benefit out of this thank you so much